Today, we're going to design another t-shirt on screen for client. Coming up. Hey, welcome back everybody. It's Matt with Mikey Designs. We're going to go ahead and show you the process of how we go about designing a t-shirt on screen. This will be for a client of ours. It is for a veterans run and I'll show you what they have provided. It is for a motorcycle club. It's a veterans run and it's for dogs for vets, pets for vets. This is the, what the client has provided. This is something someone else put together for them. They wanted to make some changes, but we're gonna kind of do our own little style to it, mix it up a little bit, so that way it's not the same exact design. We are gonna use some elements from this design. Let's go ahead and dive right into that. If you are in the market for Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, or just Adobe CC in general, be sure to use our links down in the description. By using our link, it will help fund our channel so that way we can continue to make tutorials such as these for you guys. And it doesn't cost you any more than if you're just to go over to adobe.com and purchase it from one of their links. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is I was able to find this eagle. It looks like the previous designer did use this little bit of clip art here. They did like that. What they did not like, they didn't really care for the font and they didn't like the motorcycle. So we're gonna kind of come up with something similar, but our own little design, so to speak. So the first thing I'm going to do, I do see there's some sort of road back here that is a pretty cool element. Let me see what we can find as far as some sort of road. So we're gonna go to Google Images. Let's type in road and see what we get. Did kind of like the angle of that. I don't want anything going back into perspective here. And being that it is Texas, you might want to find something that is a little more flat. But let's take a look. Let's go to size. Let's do large. Make sure we're working with a large image. This is kind of cool, but I don't really like the angle of it. Wish I had some more options that weren't just a straight back perspective look. Who knows? Maybe that might end up working, but let's see what else they got. What else we can find? Grab us up some imagery from the good old Google. I don't know. That's kind of cool. It's not the perspective that it, I want, but we'll grab that up. Anyhow, let's see, maybe this will give us some better options. And I'm just kind of keeping my mind open. I'm not trying to knock off that design in particular, but always keep your mind open to something that kind of catches your eye. That's kind of cool. Might be able to make that work somehow. The background probably will end up just being grayscale because we do as screen printers we have six colors that we are limited to on our press just trying to find something that's not just a straight back image it's just not your perspective going back like that that's one of the reasons i kind of like that a little bit let's see now nah, it's too hilly aha that's not bad this seems something a little more like you know, come to think of it, they're not in Texas. <laughs> they're actually in Arizona. So, I like this shot. I like how you can just really see the gravel, the, the texture of the road. So, I don't know. Let me go back and take a look. I probably should have thought about that. Generally, we're doing designs for clients that are here in Texas. But, this is for a client out in Arizona. So... You can find something that looks a little bit more like it'd be an Arizona landscape. I don't know. I, I just really like it when it has that texture to the road. I mean, something like this, but then again, uh, I don't know. I, I'm not really seeing a whole lot of options here where it's not just a straight back. Let's see. Let's try Curvy Road, Arizona. And then a lot of these images just 
I don't know. That's all right. It's kind of cool. That's kind of neat too. Take a look at this. Kind of like that, even though it is an image that goes straight back. I don't want to spend too, too much time. A muted back kind of image that's in the background, but let's take a look. Maybe this might work. Ah, uh, good old Shutterstock. No, we're not going to use that. There we go. Let's wait for it to kind of load its preview here. It looks pretty low res. It might have worked. Ah, oh, that's pretty cool. Actually, I kind of like that. I'm going to take this one as well. See what else we have here. Let's take a look and see what we got thus far. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't think that one will work. I think I might end up using this one or that one. I kind of like the cloudy one. The previous design did have some somewhat cloudy images to it, but let's go back and make a new folder. We're going to call it design examples. Anytime I'm designing something, I do like to kind of see what other people have done. Take a little bit from this, a little bit from that. Create my own design, really. So let's say motorcycle club t-shirt design. See what pulls up. And some of these, I mean, that's kind of cool and everything. But I'm going to pull this off even though it's not the look we're going for. I do like some of the treatments here and some of the halftone dots in the background. Let's see what else we can find. Let's see what we can find here. Hope everybody is doing well today. This is one of the very tedious parts to actually designing something. And you know, I'm <laughs> just scrolling through these and I'm not really seeing anything I'm absolutely just stoked about. There's some cool stuff, but they really do want a very kind of collaged looking design, so to speak. Let's try something else. Let's see, Harley. Harley t shirt design. Probably looking for something a little more along the lines of this. I'm going to drag this off and maybe use that as some sort of inspiration. That's kind of cool. So, I mean, we're going to try and create something along these lines here. Although, I mean, you look at stuff like this and it, well, we'll show you how to, to kind of get there without actually illustrating the artwork. We're, we're on a time crunch and not only that, we don't have time to sit down and actually illustrate something like that. They need it ASAP. They need it today. So that way when they go to their, their club meeting, they will have something pr to present to everybody. And that's kind of cool. However, I don't think that's what we're going to go for. I do like the cloudy looking sky there. That's pretty neat. Neat, but I don't think that's the direction that we're going to go in. That's kind of cool. See, that's kind of what I was looking for is kind of the curvy road. All right. We have kind of wasted enough time here looking at some of these things. All right. Let me try curvy desert road. See what that gets us. See if we can't find something a little more what I was looking for. I might take this one here. That looks kind of cool. Okay, I, I think that's about all we're going to look for. Let's, um, let's look up a cloudy sky. 
make sure we're still in large. Maybe cloudy horizon. Same, something like that would be cool. However, it's got a lot of, that's pretty cool. Although I think it's a little too close to the ground as far as the perspective goes. Ah, that's pretty neat. Let me take that. And who knows, I, I might end up just using that. If I can't quickly find something I like that's more interesting to me. One of the things about doing a t-shirt design is just find something that captures your eye. There is no right or wrong way to do this. You just want to make something that looks good and that client's going to be happy with. Okay, let's see. Let me look at a couple more images, see if we can't find Cloudy Horizon. Let's see, Road. I mean, some of these we're looking at is that to begin with already. That looks cool, however... We need something free. Can't necessarily say that I want to go and purchase an image for five, ten, twenty, twenty-five bucks, whatever the case may be, and them not end up liking it. And a lot of times you can grab an image from iStock or Shutterstock. Use the mock-up image if they happen to like it. Then you let the client know this image is not a royalty-free image. We do have to purchase it, have them pay for it. Once they do, take the full res images and then just plunk it right down in place. So that way you can get it, essentially get rid of these watermarks. Okay, well, free-wise, I, I think... We can use what we have here. Next thing I need to do is find a Harley. Maybe part on road. Make sure we're using our large settings. And I'm just trying to find some sort of perspective that... Perhaps it's a little bit more like like that. I like that motorcycle. I think they would like that too. These are veterans. Veterans do tend to ride something that's a little more cruiser-like, like this one here. Something a little more comfortable. Younger cats tend to like these here. Your chick can't ride comfortably. On the back of that one. <laughs> so you tend to want to go with something that's a little more like that. Comfy for the long haul. Don't want to worry about falling off the back of it the whole time. Oh, that's a little too comfy there. Uh, this is pretty cool. Although... But being black, I don't know. I mean, it is going to go on a black t-shirt. I was kind of hoping to find something with a little more color, but we may just take that and actually... We'll, we'll keep it as an option. We'll see. It's a pretty cool looking bike. That's pretty cool. However, I think the photograph's too dark. Yeah, it looks like a one-seater. Let's not do that. Maybe if I knew the, the model of the, the Harley, I probably could find something along the lines of what I'm looking for. 
Although, as I was saying a little earlier, don't exactly want to keep a particular image stuck in my head. Be open to stuff. Let me, let me grab that one off. That's kind of cool. Aha! Let's see. Okay. I think now we're getting closer to where we need to be. That's that's pretty cool. I like that. Looks a little more illustrator like. They might end up liking that. Uh that might be cool. Might keep that as an option as well. Definitely don't want someone sitting on it. Okay. Well, I think I might end up using that one's a little too glossy looking. I probably might end up using this one here. You guys tend to lean a little more towards the darker colors. Let's see what else we can find if I had to show more. If I had a Harley, it'd probably look something like that. <laughs> That's uh, a little too low rider ish although very cool i think we're kind of wanting something that's going to appeal to the masses of the club okay so let's roll with that for now we'll see what he thinks about it once it's put into the composition and then next thing we're going to do we're going to go to a thousand and one Let's see, 1001 free fonts. Let's do that one. And my way of thinking is he really likes the kind of style of this font here, which kind of looks Western to me. So let me see what I can find. Western wise, oh god, that kind of, I don't know. Mm, confetti? Confetti Western? <laughs> I don't know, kind of thought it might work, but. Trying to keep my mind open to some of these other fonts. All right, we might need to go to thousand and one fonts I believe they are free too thousand and one free fonts you let me down let me try western again here see what it pulls up hopefully we get something that's a little closer to what he likes about the jackets that they do have for the club members and this is just one of the more tedious processes of actually getting in and designing something a lot of time it might just be font hunting. Just looking for fonts. That's kind of cool. Um, even though it's called Carnival. Might download that. They might end up liking something like that. Some of these fonts are 
pretty cool. I might have to go back and kind of re... Maybe I have that font stuck in my mind a little too much. Although, I don't want it to be one of those situations where, <clears throat> like, hey, can we get something closer to this? Like, eh, you know. Sure. However, you can see what we're doing here is going through a million of them. <laughs> All right, let's try this. Um, let me go back to the beginning and see if there's anything that kind of sticks out that... I think it looks pretty cool. Not so much something similar to what is on their jackets. Saddlebag regular. Uh, nah. Cowboys, nope. Okay. Yeah, none of these are really catching my eye except for that one. Okay, you'll have to excuse me. Had to sneeze there for a minute. <laughs> uh, okay. Where were we at? We're looking for fonts. Okay, I think for the moment, I'm not going to look at fonts anymore. I'm going to switch gears real quick. Thought for a minute and we're going to look for an American flag Eagle. See if we can't find maybe some other interesting image, even though that one is pretty cool. Just want to see what other options we do have. I mean, there's, there's that image again. That one is pretty low res. Let me go back, make sure it's large. And you can see that image does show up quite a bit. I do not. I like I do like how the, the flag is in its wings. That's pretty cool looking. I might grab that up. And in the process, I'm going to I'm going to organize this a little bit. Let's call this American Eagle. And find our American Eagle image. I'm going to toss that in the folder. Make a folder called Roads. Roads. Toss that in there. Let's see. Early. We'll toss that in this folder. So that way when I'm getting to the point of actually putting this thing together, it'll be a little easier for me to, let's call this clouds. Make it a little easier for me to go through and actually figure out essentially what what we're looking at here image wise make things easier to find so that way I don't have to sort through it as much okay back to the American Eagle. Just going to see if I can't find something perhaps a little more interesting. That's kind of cool. Did we just pull that one off? Now, what happened to our image of the eagle that we had? Did I dump it in the wrong folder? I thought I'd pulled it off. Let's take a look. I thought I had pulled the other one off. Maybe not. All right, let's take this dude. We'll put it here. Make sure it's actually showing up. 
Let me go back to the top. I think it was this one here. Okay. And if I click on that, it will give us some other images to kind of browse through. Although, now it's getting us back to the low side of the images and Boy, that one just keeps popping up, doesn't it? However, let's see what we can find. And do we have this one already? Yeah, he's too narrow. Cool thing about that image is that composition-wise, it actually will fit quite nicely. Even though I'm not a huge fan of having the flag behind it, this looks pretty cool. I might um, just kind of feather this out. Ha! <laughs> feather! Ba -da -ba. Feather the edges of that. That might end up being something pretty cool. This is pretty neat. We might be able to actually take that and transpose some sort of flag behind it. Maybe in some of these areas here. That's pretty cool looking though. I like that. How it looks like an eagle. And then it's the face. It's almost kind of a two-in-one image. So I don't know, I might end up doing a couple options. See what they think. That's pretty cool. Went it a little more kind of I want it to look a little a little bit more like it was illustrated by hand. See, that's pretty cool. I don't even know if we have that image here. We might actually have that one already. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty cool. However, I don't know. that. Uh, this is what I'm talking about, guys, when I'm saying keep your eyes open for something that might be interesting. They might really enjoy what I have in mind for that. Uh, what is this here? Shutterstock. Nah. America. Doing it for America. You gotta say it without the A. America. Let's see. Okay. That's... Yeah, that's kind of, <laughs> I don't know. Now that I look at it, it seems a little goofy to me. So because we do have that face, I think I will find some sort of American flag image that might look really cool behind it. And that, that looks pretty cool to me. So let's call this American flag. Now, if you guys are wondering how to create these folders so quickly, uh, just hit command shift in. That will create a new folder. All right. Let's dump this into the American flag folder. And... That's not bad looking, however, looks like it was, I mean, you can tell it's a vector or done in Photoshop and clients just texting away. I do apologize. Let's see. I don't know. That first one's pretty cool. Let's see what else we can find here. That's not bad. Yeah, 
I'll grab that. Mm. There. I don't know. That's pretty neat. I might be able to do something pretty cool with that. Like how the sunshine is coming through that. It might work with our clouds somewhat. And I think I might might find just one more image. Uh, it's kind of cool. I have to do too much trimming for that. It's got the looks like the Rocky Mountains in the background. Although that's pretty cool in itself. I grab that up. I like the kind of grunge, kind of watercolor splatter kind of look to it. And, ah, nah, way to go. One, two, three, RF. Man, that, that might've worked. Let's see what else we can get that, that looks like that. Cause that's, that's pretty neat. Kind of has a little bit of that, uh, kind of just weathered vintage kind of look like it's been around for a while. And it looks like I'm, oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Let me see here. It's a little bit small of an image. Of course, all the large images are paid for images. However, let me, yeah, that one looks like it's illustrated a little too much. Let's see what we pulled off thus far. That's cool. That's neat. Although, see, this is a part where we're just kind of, you can just really get creative with it because, I mean, that's pretty cool looking. And I don't want to do a carbon copy of what the previous designer did. I'll tell you, one of the things they really don't, you know, excuse it, we are a business and the phone does ring. <laughs> so let me pause this real quick. Okay, you'll have to excuse me. Someone was calling in, been getting messages, and I had to see what the weather was doing outside and kind of look outside for a moment. Uh, anyhow, <laughs> so let's see what we got here. American flag wise. Uh, yeah, I did not drag one of these off. This is a little low res, but I really like it. And I don't think it will matter too, too much since it will be kind of subdued in the background. Uh, let's take, yeah, it's got a watermark in it. And there's just all kinds of Emails coming in. Get out of the way. Let's see. Is that the same image? Is it the same image? Yeah, it looks like the same one to me. Okay, I, I like that. So, at this point, I'm going to do one more image search. And we're just going to look for lightning. Some sort of cool lightning, I don't know, desktop, background, something not too, too crazy. And once again, let's go to size and large, see what we can kind of find. And naturally, we're going to have clouds in there. And I may or may not actually put this in there because the last composition did have a little something like that. This looks kind of neat. Although, I really don't think this is 
19 by 1080 like it's saying. It looks pretty low res. That looks kind of cool. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Let's see. Let's make a new folder. Guess what we're going to call it? Lightning. Lightning. With the lowercase l. Maybe it should have been all caps. Lightning! Oh, it looks pretty neat. Yeah, I might grab that up. Go back and... After a while, kind of looking at these images and... Grabbing them up. Sometimes going back... You almost have a fresh set of eyes on it, so to speak. Oh, I know. We'll put Metallica's Ride the Lightning in the background. Not. Although, a cool album, I will say. All right. I, I think those couple images will work with what I have in mind. So. At this point, I'm going to hide Safari. I'm going to go over to Photoshop. Let me close that out. I do not need that. Let's make a new image. I accidentally hit open, but I'm going to hit Command N or just click Create New here. I do know our maximum print size is 12 by 15. This will go on the back. And I think I'll do 200 DPI since a lot of these images are somewhat low res and we're screen printing it at 45 LPI. 200 is good. If you can design it at 300 and your images are so large that you do need to scale them down, that's ideal. We're going to make the background transparent. RGB because we will end up doing our separations in RGB. We do not want it in CMYK because this is not a process print. It's gonna be simulated or what we call spot process. So let's see what job number we call this. 5084, pets for vets. So 5084. Pets for Vets. And I might even have this titled wrong, but I know what it means. Let's go ahead and hit Create. Okay, so now at this point, let's go over to our folder. I think the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create the background. And I think I like that one a little more. So let's drag that in. You know, yeah, let's just go ahead and drag that in. I was going to turn it to grayscale, but I have a way to get rid of the color because we will not be using color in the background. Let's just go ahead and hit enter. We'll label this lightning. I'm going to make a new layer. We're going to call it background. Or you can call it black t-shirt. Whatever you want to call it. Let's actually do that. We'll call that black t-shirt. T-shirt. Drag that to the bottom. Hit D on the keyboard. Make sure we have our default black. Option delete. Now we have ourselves a black background. You can see there is a little bit of a hard line here with this image okay so let's make this grayscale hit command u we can go to image adjustments hue separate <laughs> hue saturation i was about to say hue separation but we're not separating anything so just pull saturation all the way back it'll take all that color out I'm going to hit okay Next thing we're going to do, let's find our road. 
see which one I think will look the best. That's pretty cool. Too flat. I don't like the angle of it. That's pretty awesome. Hmm. So it's either this dude here. I'm going to just label it real quick. Or I think that one. That looks pretty cool, but I like the lighting of this. So it's this guy or this guy. Let me know in the comments which one you like, and I'll show you which one I end up going with. I'm going to kind of toggle back and forth between these two. Um, I'm really liking the lighting of this one. I'm going to go with this one because of the fact that it is kind of a, kind of want it to look a little stormy. So I'm going to pull that down. Sorry about that. I accidentally hit my mouse, moved it around. We'll call this Road, aka Road. Let's see here. Smart filters. Mm hmm. Although I did not mean to make that a smart filter. However, Command U. And in this, I may. Hmm. Might have to back up a step because maybe I can do something interesting with the cloud instead of it just being grayscale. Because I do like some of the yellowish tones here. So I might have to think about that. And maybe I could do something cool with some of the colors of this background. So we might just end up blending these two together. So I just hit command and, uh, or just, yeah, command to, to select this other one as well. If you wanted to select, and you can hold shift to select these, but if I didn't want this one in the middle, just hold command and you can select or control for you guys on a PC. Edit that out. Okay. Anyhow, I might actually go back and do something with the lightning here. With the taking it from that the color image, I don't know. I might turn it to blue. Yeah, let's do that. Let me get rid of that. Let's take go back to this cloud, or excuse me, the, the lightning. Take this one again. That looks pretty cool, but I'm gonna drop this guy right in there. And I'm going to hit Command U, and I'm going to change the color of it so that way it's more of a blue rather than purple. And we might just hit Colorize, pull our saturation up. I think that will look a little more interesting because we are going to need blue for the American flag. So let's change that. I'm going to drag it up. And then one of the issues that we have going on here is we do have the sky. So I think I'm going to kind of blend this out a little bit. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to make a selection with my marquee tool here, just the square marquee tool. I'm going to go to filter, or excuse me, select, modify, feather. And I think I may feather that by 150. Now I'm going to go to my road image here. Let me rename this one Lightning again. And let me just collapse this by clicking that. I don't really need to see the filter. 
Now I'm going to hit you. Do a little bit of. Ah, excuse me. Shouldn't have hit cancel. Command U. Control U for PC guys. And let's kind of make that look a little more blue again. Or at least blue up here. And we might need to feather this out a little more. Let me hit undo. Actually, undo a couple times. I think that will get rid of our feather. Let's make this 250. So I want a nice gradual transition. I'll rename this after the fact, after I figure out what the I'm doing here with these clouds. Okay, so hit Command U again. See, now we're starting to get a little bit more of a fade. I think I might feather it out just even that much more. Let's let's just go ahead and make that 500. Okay, you can see this pinch down, and that's because we got a really huge feather going on here so now let's change that see now we're getting a little bit more of that that sky in the background going might bump the saturation up bring some color in there and let's make it look closer to the other blue that we do have going on we want it so purplish and bump the saturation all the way up just so we can kind of really see what we're working with here. I'm trying to stay away from the purples so that way I don't have to use purple in anything. All right, so we got that. And we got this image here. I may end up Let's go ahead and label this lightning again. So I'm going to uh, hit Command T. Smart smart filters applied to this layer will be turned off temporarily while they transform. Sure, whatever you say there. So we're going to drag this down to the horizon. I hit Command T to do that, just dragged it down and hit enter on the keyboard. Now I'm going to do a mask. Got this layer selected. I'm going to click this here, go to my paintbrush, I'm going to hold Control and Option. And you can drag your mouse up and down like this so you can see the effect that is going on. And I'm going to want to paint this with black. Hit X on my keyboard, and then we can kind of gradually just blend these. I blend that a little bit so they look like it belongs. Okay, so that looks pretty cool. I think I'm going to take the two of these. I'm going to select the road and the lightning layer. I'm going to hit Command T to transform it so that way I can kind of fill up my canvas. I think I'll pull this down just a touch because I am going to feather this out a little bit. Let me hit undo real quick. I think I went a little too far with it. So I don't want to lose this part of the lightning, although I can go around it. Who knows? I don't know. Sometimes I go back and forth with some of these things and just part of designing things. Okay, so I think one of the things I'm going to do, I'm going to go to you and should be pulling back the, the saturation here. Hit Command D on the keyboard, make sure I'm not. Looks like I'm affecting the little filter we got going on. 
command U. I'm trying to pull back the saturation of this thing. I want it a little darker. Saturation is getting a little crazy. Okay, let me go to image mode, adjustments, brightness, contrast. And as we pull this back, let's see what we get. Might want to bump up the contrast a little bit. Let's see what using legacy gets us. So I'm kind of wanting to just make it somewhat dark looking. Even though these guys are not going to be riding in weather like this. However, we're going to make it look dramatic. What happens when we hit colorize here? Obviously, it's going to make. Well, it, I mean, if you really don't know, what when you do colorize, it basically takes all the tones and makes it almost like a, a sepia tone. So at this point, I'm trying to get a little bit more towards the blue side. Huh. I'm really not digging what it's doing to the clouds here. And depending on what version you have, it's you're not going to see some of these smart filters kick on. Which I recently updated. I'm not too big of a fan of these smart filters because it's not the results that I have going on here aren't exactly what I'm looking for. Let's try this. So I turned those smart filters off real quick. Man, I'm trying to stay away from those purples. Okay, that looks kind of cool. Let's turn. Okay, all the smart filters are on. Go back to this road. We'll go to adjustments, brightness, contrast. See what we get here. Let me pull some of this stuff back. And you can just play around with it. Whatever it is you're creating. Just keep in mind, you can just play around with this stuff and get it to your liking. My personal taste will differ from yours, so bring this contrast up. I might have to go back and eh, okay. Yeah, it's looking kind of cool. All right. So with this background, I think one of the things I am going to do, well, I'm going to pause the video for one second. <laughs> Okay, now we're finished with that phone call. <laughs> All right. Um, I think one of the things I'm going to do is let's see how we can incorporate one of these American Eagles. Now I'm looking at this. It's too illustrative. That's kind of cool. Um, they originally had that. So I think I might plunk this dude in there as one option. So let me take this. I'm just going to drag it in there. And hit enter. And I'm going to make a folder. We're going to call it Eagles. And we're not talking about the band. We'll call this Eagle 1. And put it in that folder. And while we're at it, I might as well grab the other Eagle, which I plan on doing something with. At least try and see what we can do with it. I'm gonna toss that in there. And immediately I'm going to just erase this thing here. 
Let's see. I am not sure why. Okay, we're going to have to use a mask. It's because I'm dragging, dropping things in there rather than opening and copying it over. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let me just get rid of that real quick. I'm going to go to open. I'm going to go to my job folder here. And I'll click on art. American Eagle. And I think this, let's see, where is it at? There we are. Let's go ahead and open that up. So now that's open, I can drag this guy off, hold command and option down. I'm going to hold shift so it plunks right down in the middle. I'm going to go back to this window. Hit command W to close it out. Now I'm going to hit command T to transform it, make it bigger. See, now it's not linked to anything, which at times are, are a good thing. If you happen to erase some of your image, having a linked image, you can always go back to the, the, the original image. Because as soon as I start erasing this, I mean, the content's gone. Which, with this particular, these, uh, this wallpaper art here, and I don't mind getting rid of this, so let's just get rid of that. Okay, we'll call this Eagle 2. Whoops, forgot to put 2 in there. Now, I turn that off. We got this eagle here that we are dealing with. One of the things I want to do is get rid of the black background. So I'm going to go over here to my magic wand tool. I'm just going to select this. Let's hit undo a couple times. I didn't want to select that. So I'm just going to hit delete. Uh, let's rasterize this thing so that way we can actually and, and that's how you get rid of your link you can just right click and rasterize it but also want to show you how you can open it and copy it off so I hit delete I'm going to deselect that now I'm going to go over here and I think what I'll end up doing is for this, I'll probably end up drawing some sort of path. And you can see a little bit of white here. It looks like someone went back and tossed that in there. I'm going to grab that, take my selection tool here, remove some of these areas I don't want deleted. You can use a pen tool to make them a, a uh, more precise path but in this instance I am just trying to get this done quickly so I'm going to freehand it to get rid of that and I'm just holding option down to get rid of that selection I'm going to delete that hit command D to deselect it Okay, so that's looking, we got him in the composition. We probably will need to go back and get rid of some of this as well, which I did not really catch to begin with. Get some of this here. And I'm going to remove some of this, hold option down. I hit delete. There we go. And the reason we're, I mean, some of this black makes up the shadows of his tail feathers. And I'm just going to kind of position this guy a little bit. Okay, so we got our, our eagles all done. I'm going to collapse this folder. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Arlies and... That's pretty cool. 
Something tells me they probably would like that. Either that one or that one more. Let's see. Come on. Get out of there. Let me know, guys, what you think down in the comments. Which one you like. I think I, um, I kind of like this because it looks a little more cartoony, kind of classic looking. Well, this is kind of that modern flat black, but yet a classic motorcycle. See them quite often on the road. So, I think I will go with this one here. The Road Glide, I believe is what it's called, because that's what it's labeled. <laughs> Who knows, maybe that's not what it is. Okay, let's go to that window. Close that out. So in this instance, I am going to make a clipping path for this particular motorcycle. Uh, let me back up a step. I'm going to hit undo. Let me reopen that file. And I'm going to go here. Hit P on the keyboard. We're going to make a clipping path. Let's zoom out just a touch. I'm going to hit caps locks. So that way I get my arrows. This is just how I prefer it. And if you want to see the pin on yours, that's absolutely cool. I'm going to hold option down. Drag that back a little bit. The angle is getting a little too crazy. And I'm not going to spend too, too, too much time um, with this clipping path. I'm going to try and make it as accurate as I can, but I'm going to try and bang this out as quick as I can. Hold option down, get rid of that handle. I can do something like this. Get that exhaust. And with me saying I'm not going to spend too, too much time and get it too precise, you're probably thinking, wow, you're spending more time than I normally would. But um, I'm just trying to do this as quick as I can. I mean, some of these details I generally would get, take a little more time on. However, being a commercial designer or graphic designer, commercial artist, whatever you want to call it, I find you're generally on a time crunch most of the time. So you will have a tendency just to really need to bang these things out. Come down here, make sure our antenna's in there. And there goes the thunder. It is about to pour down. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Hopefully it doesn't get too loud. Don't want it interrupting the tutorial slash. Let me show you how I go about designing stuff. And here we go with some more phone calls. Let me quit that real quick. Let Shannon get the phone. Okay, as you can see, I'm just going around clipping this thing out. Normally, doing a just some sort of magic wand selection won't work because of the background. And I'm quickly going to try and blow through this. Yeah, that's a that'd be a five color print back. So, just going around the motorcycle, just cutting it out. It on the white. I assume that it changed today. The thing is, the white shirt is less expensive no matter what. And it, but okay. This is definitely, on, on as you can tell, is a very tedious process. You can hear Shannon. <laughs> if you're not familiar with Shannon, the shop gnome, she is. She is the lady. She is the 
She helps manage things around here, handles clients, obviously, and she's getting after it. Well, I'm getting after it. We're, so the, you guys that are new to the channel, we are a, I'd say two and a half person shop. I do the artwork. I started this business back in 2013, had a full-time job. This is what I do for a living. Okay, Got Shannon right, on board. Um, uh, the amount of workload what we can do that since Shannon's come in, um, she's really helped pick up a lot of the workload so I can get to doing artwork okay. and a screen printing in. She actually helps okay. with the screen printing by stacking the shirts. And, uh, <laughs> that's really thundering out there. Is that a, this a, that appropriate for this uh, tutorial with the lightning in the background? That's a little too coincidental, maybe. So, anyhow, um, yeah, so two and a half person. What I mean by two and a half is I am training someone on okay. so the the screen printing in so I can be in the office a little more and help uh, his name's Panda if you're watching Panda which I doubt you will because he is a busy guy himself uh, however he does a lot of the screen prep and training him how to screen print so let's just say that business is going well and we uh it's been okay. our busiest year thus far which is good it's probably because of okay, doing stuff yeah, like this so uh i actually got off the phone with a client a little earlier today before i started this right, right. I and it was a good buddy i went to high school so with and one of the reasons they do keep coming back to us is because of the artwork i mean they've tried other people and they they try and you know spread the work out but they keep coming back to us because of the uh essentially artwork that we send to them they've really enjoyed what we've put together and apparently whatever some of these other shops have been putting together they just haven't been happy with and it is starting to get down out there well just when we thought the um the the rain was gone So who was that? Was that um That was Sean? Or no, that was Angela, Sean's partner. Um Wait, and which one is which one's Sean? They're the ones from Critter Lamb. Okay. And they didn't expect the price to be that much because I had explained to them it's uh -oh. five colors. Need to back up here. Front and back. What design was that? Oh yeah, okay. I know what you're talking about now. I'm getting ahead of myself again. I keep thinking it's a shadow. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, so we have completed our path. I'm going to hold command down, select this, make sure we do have the combined shapes thingy here. No, it's okay. I was just talking about our business. Because at this point of doing this art is um, very tedious and there's not a whole lot to talk about aside from I'm drawing with a pen tool. <laughs> okay, so I'm using the subtract from shape. Now that we're going to be 
cutting our path inside here. Uh, generally, you want to do the outside first, make sure it's uh, combined shapes. And then as soon as you draw the path on the inside where you want it cut out, um, it will subtract that from the se selection. And I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Once we get this finished, and I'm just going to, I mean, I'm not going to make this too, too detailed. Some of these parts like this, eh, I'll go ahead and do it. I'll just make it kind of square-like. This is the part where I'm telling you I don't want to spend too much time on it. Come down here. I'm just going to make simple polygons. The fender I will make curve. That's pretty important. Important part. Excuse me. Jeez. I'll say one thing about being a, a designer. I'm not talking a lot during the day, and I'm I'm concentrating on what I'm doing. Sometimes I can just stumble on my words, so to speak. Kind of concentrating on the task at hand. So I tend to either not say things properly or just, I don't know. Um, sometimes I feel like I sound a little foolish. Let's just put it that way. When I'm not. It's almost like I'm kind of have a uh, one track mind kind of can't really multitask as much or as well as I think I can okay I don't like how that turned out that's pretty important that I will adjust okay last thing here at least I believe is this part here okay now I'm just going to hit command S to save that. I'm going to go over to my pass, double click on that. I'm going to call it clipping path. Hit OK. Go over here to the right hand side. Select clipping path. 0.3 flatness. If the higher the number, the harder the clipping path will be in other words it will make it look more like a polygon so 0 0.3 is generally my go-to okay now hold command down over this you'll get the this little box here and then we'll get our selection so now you see these innards are taken out if I hit command J and turn off the background you'll see that we got our motorcycle I didn't really need to put that on a new layer, but I just want to show you guys that. Over to our marquee tool, command, option, shift, plunk that bad boy right down in here. And it looks like I did forget to go in here and cut this out. Let's see if we can just quickly punch some of this stuff out. Like I said, I'm trying not to spend too much time on some of these details but that's pretty important so I'm gonna remove that selection I'm gonna remove this as well I'm gonna freehand it best I can I'm gonna add some of this I'm just holding the shift button down And I'm going to add some of that. Remove some of the rim of the motorcycle here. Remove some of the calipers here. Add some of that. Add this back in. Actually, we want to remove that from the selection. So let's get rid of that. And I'm holding Option down. I'm just clicking. It might be slightly polygon-like, but I'm just trying to hammer this job out. These guys are waiting on this. They need it for their meeting. 
All right, let me add that to the selection. This as well. That. Remove that. Shift and option. We'll go between the two. Shift will add. Option takes away. Now, if you hold, if you uh, hold option down, you'll get the minus. So I'm drag dragging here, right? Now I'm going to let off option, holding my mouse down. Hold option down again. Now I'm getting a straight line. So I'm going to click and then hold down my mouse. Let that go. Let, or hold the mouse down, let go option. You get back to being able to do a free form tool. A couple more pieces. Hold option down here. Oh, actually, we need to do shift. Holding shift. Now we hit undo. So we're going to hit shift. I'm going to hold option down and see if we get that again. And I let go of the shift button. So play around with that. You might find that useful. And again, it's just hold shift to add. I'll start drawing and then click option, let go of shift. Yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah, you can still hold shift down at the same time. So if it bothers you, let go of shift and uh, keep holding it. I'm going to remove this here. Okay. All right, one more little thing. I'm going to add this, remove that, add this, or excuse me, remove that. Now I'm going to hit delete. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. I think I might rotate this just a little bit. Maybe make it a little bit bigger in the composition. Command T, shift and option. Pull that up. Let me go back and see what they did in the last design. Kind of use that as a basis composition wise. Okay. Yes. So the motorcycle is overlapping quite a bit. This is a bigger, bigger motorcycle. Uh, looks like we got a little bit of an outer glow on the motorcycle. Hmm. I was kind of thinking of a drop shadow, however. Okay. So we need to keep some room at the top for the tags. I'm going to... All right, let's call this Harley. And then for the eagle, I think I will size him down a little bit. I think he's taking up a little too much real estate. Pull him down. Move the Harley up some along with this eagle. And I just hold command down to select those two. Okay. Let's go ahead and save this. I don't think we've saved yet. Shame on me. Well, it's terrible. Probably because I'm finally getting to a point towards where I'm like, okay, this is this is looking like something. But we got a long way to go. Okay, I'm going to take a couple minutes to collect my thoughts, figure out where I'm going to go with this next film. So stay tuned. Ow, my ears. Okay, and we are back. I had a moment to kind of sit back and kind of look at this. I think with this particular eagle, it is... Uh, it's very colorful, and then the bike is, you know, it's a flat black. So I think I'm going to drop this down in the composition. Uh, I like the flat black bike more. However, I think it's a little, it's not colorful enough. We need to bring some more color into the design. So I'm going to hold on to that one, though, because I may see how it ends up looking in the other composition so let me bring this in real quick this one i am not going to cut a path for because it is on a black background i'm going to 
pluck that dude right in there. Let me close these other windows out. Close this one. Let's go ahead and um, let me get rid of, turn the background layer back on. We'll still have our clipping path. We'll just save that into the JPEG. Close it out. So let's go back over to our layers. Uh, we will just put these guys, I'm going to select both of them, put it in a folder. We'll call it Harley's. I'm going to collapse this one here, open this folder. Let's call it Red Harley. Turn this black one off. I'm going to enlarge it. And I'm going to use my magic wand. However, I'm going to bring the tolerance down quite a bit. That's too much. Let's try 15 and hit deselect. And I'm going to come over here and select some of this other stuff. I do, however, need. And there goes the phone again. <laughs> Not a big deal. Let me um, get rid of this portion of the selection. Telemarketer. Good old telemarketers. No, nope, nobody answered. Oh my. Okay, so this one may be a bit of a problem. It is not a very high res image. Not a big fan of images that are not high res. So I'm going to do a very crude deselection of some of these parts here. Make sure we got this tire. And you can see some of the uh, Okay, you can see the tire here. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to make sure we got that tire. And it is starting to pour down out there. I don't uh Hopefully power doesn't give out because we got a deadline to meet today here in a few hours so we need to crank this dude out all right because I'm not even sure that I'm gonna use this motorcycle let's see let's go over and type in red Harley red Harley Davidson see what we get uh, not quite the same motorcycle, but you know they might not even like that that motorcycle that is in there. I do like the angle, however. Man, and as long as we get something to them. They tell us they don't like the motorcycle, not a big deal. They're happy with the font or whatever the case may be. There generally always will be changes that will need to be made, but we need to get something to them first. All right, let me go to filter and let's see, I'm trying to think. It's not a filter I use too often. I'm going to go to help. We're going to call it, it's called plastic wrap, at least <laughs> it, it was something, um, looks like they may have gotten rid of it. So let's go to our filter gallery. So it used to be called your artistic and there it is plastic wrap. Might look stupid at the moment, but 
we can pull it back. What this will do is kind of help it look a little bit more, just a touch more kind of illustrated. I don't know, but I didn't like how that came out. So I'm going to close my mail app so stuff's not constantly popping up. Okay. So we're going to pull this down the composition a little more. Might even size it down just a touch. Now I'm going to quickly just put an outer glow on it. Let's see, outer glow. Make sure it's white. And the spread of it to be Let's be fairly noticeable. I'm going to go too overboard with it. Now, I'm probably going to have to fix this tire a little bit because that just looks funky. Okay. Mm -hmm. Opacity. Let's see, you might bring that back a little bit. And this is just one of those things, being a designer, you're going to have to play around with some of these things. I'm going to call that good for now. You can always go back and adjust it. My concern at this point is this tire. Let me just take my tool here and kind of make this look a little bit more like a, a rounded tire. Command Shift I, I'm going to go over to my erase tool. I'm going to hit some of that. Okay, now it looks like a rounder tire. The reason I don't want to spend too much time on this bike just yet is they might not like it. So, I mean, some of these areas here, I mean, obviously that kind of looks like doo doo. And this is a low res image. I think I'll just click on this layer here. I'm going to say select, modify, contract, and contract it by two pixels. And then select, modify, feather. I think I'll feather it by two as well. Command Shift I, and I'm going to hit delete. Uh, I hit it one too many times. Okay. So now our edges look a little better. A little feathered out. Still not a fan of what's going on here. See if I can draw something out that looks a little better. Select feather, modify feather, two, delete. Okay, that looks a little better. I hit command U. I think I might change the hue of it to be a little bit more like the red of the eagle. And I'm going to hit it OK. One of the things I do kind of want to do. Like, what is going on back over here? Well, that just looks goofy. And I'm not even, I don't even know what that is, but I'm going to get rid of that stuff. Make sure we're not grabbing this handle. Select, modify, feather, two. Okay, I'm hitting enter on the keyboard. Delete. Okay, that looks better. Okay. Now, I think one of the things I might do with this eagle is I'm going to put a mask on it, grab my brush, 
make it fairly large with a really like 0% hardness. Make sure my default color is black D. I just hit D on the keyboard and X. And I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to fade him out just a touch. I think I might have this just a little too big. Let's pull this back a little bit. That'll help this motorcycle kind of stand out just a little more. Next thing I'm going to do, I am going to take this windscreen and I'm going to yeah, I'm not even a fan of what's going on here. Let me fix that real quick. Select modify feather. Let me make sure I'm on my <laughs> my motorcycle layer. Red Harley. Delete that. That looks better. Okay, back to our windscreen. I'm going to make a really quick selection here. And I got a little sloppy with it, holding option down so we can go back to this thing. I'm going to pull out some of these parts here that are motorcycle handlebars, some of these other little accessories. I'm going to pull, let me undo that. I'm going to pull this out. This does look like it is metal. Or maybe it's not. And let me get rid of the selection of this mirror here. And hit Command Shift J, so that removed that from that layer. And I'm gonna pull it back a little bit. That way we can see some of that eagle showing through it just a touch. Make it look like it's in front of it. We'll call this windscreen. Okay. Command S, let's save that. Now for my next trick <laughs> is let's take a look and see what we get uh, when we go to brightness and contrast, see what we can't do. Make sure it's kind of balanced between the two. Don't want too, too much contrast. Okay, that looks pretty good. Decent enough. Time crunch, people, time crunch. Okay, so I think with this road, I'm going to pull it back some. I'm still kind of not a fan of this coming out here, but might not be that big of a deal down the road. Let me take a look at what we got going on here. Road. Let's put this in a folder. And we'll call it background. Now, for this road, I think I will pull it back just a touch. So it's not so in your face, but you still get the idea of what's going on. It's about the eagle in America. All right. Now, I think at this point, what I'm going to do is either feather the edge of what is going on in the background, or I might do some sort of halftone thing. So I'm going to save that real quick. I'm actually going to duplicate this background because I have a feeling that I might want to do something different for the other eagle image. So I'm going to turn that off because it's obviously affecting what's going on, changes we just made. And let's see. 
trying to think here. Sometimes part of the process is thinking. So, I think with this background, I'm just going to feather it. And then the other design, I might do something a little more unique. So, let's just put a mask on that background layer. We'll take our brush. I'm going to size it down a little bit. Control and Option. I'll feather this out some. So I do not want those hard edges. And I think what I might end up doing now that I got this feathered out here, hit X on the keyboard. I'm trying to get some more X again. Make sure white's in the foreground. I'm trying to make sure these lightning bolts kind of really stand out. Hit X again to get black back. And then some of these areas between it, I'm going to pull that back just a touch. Feather this a little bit. Okay, so one of the things I think I'm going to do, so I'm going to right click, go to my brushes here. See what we have. Let's see if we can't change this. Uh... You know, if change this up since the 2017 version, so you'll have to excuse me here. I'm trying to find the brush I generally like. Let's see, maybe it's under special effects brush. Hmm. That's weird. That's not weird, but Okay, where's uh mm -mm -mm. Man, they just keep changing things up. Restore the default brushes. Let me open this up. See what we get here. Looking for I mean it's kind of Okay, let's see how this works out for us. I'm going to make this 100%. And I'm going to give it a little bit... Some character here, basically, is what I'm trying to do. I'm really not liking how this brush is working out. Let's try... This out. And it looks a little too splatter-like. Not exactly what I was going for. That looks like leaves. And that was so nice. Oh, as I'm brushing around lightning here, got lightning going out, going on in the, the background there. And so I'm just trying to give this a little bit of a, a texture. And I think we're getting closer to what I'm after. Kind of that grainy, splotchy kind of effect. I think I may want to emphasize this a little more with a different brush. That's kind of cool. Almost looks a little noisy. Let's see, wet media brushes. Let's see what we get here. This may be what I was kind of after. I don't know. Uh, so I'm going to play around with this for a moment so it's all part of designing stuff you have to just really go through and because they have changed it I 
I'm not finding the the brush right away. However, we are going to make this work because we have no choice. Kyle's ultimate ultimate pastel brush. We'll see what this does. No, nee, not so much. Drop the ball, Kyle. Let's see, maybe. And it's like I have to really hold it down. That's not what I'm looking for. And some of these things here worked out okay. okay. So one of the things I think I'm going to do with this eagle, I'm going to select it and do select, modify, contract. We're going to do it by one. Select, modify, feather. Let's do that by two. Command, shift, I. The inverse it. And hit delete. Let's see how that worked out. Ah, I think I might have to contract it a little more. I'm trying to feather the edge a little bit so it's not such a hard edge. Edge looking cut out. Let's try that again. Select, modify, contract. I may have hit expand. That might have been the problem. Okay, select, modify, feather. Two. Okay, inverse, delete. Okay, that's a little better. So now he's not doesn't have such a hard edge. And one of the things I may do, let me go back to my Harley. With that glow, we'll take that, right click, cop, copy layer style. Go back to our eagle, right click, paste layer style. Let's see what we get. Too much of a glow, so we're going to double click on the filter here. Let's pull that back a little bit. There we go. I like that. Let's see the difference between the two. It's subtle, but it works. Okay. So I, I think we're getting pretty close to, to where we need to be. I'm going to save this. And I may need to move the eagle up in the composition, or I might need to just size both of them down. We'll figure that out once we bring our text in so we still have to create that bring that in let me do option two real quick so i'm going to turn this eagle off um you know what i think i'm going to save these as two different files so i'm saving this and i'm going to hit command shift s put v2 Hit OK. Okay, so now we got version 2. I think I'm just going to get rid of this eagle altogether. Uh, I think I may hold on to that bike. I'm going to turn this other eagle on. Let's see what happens when we hit multiply. That looks pretty cool. Let's turn the outer glow off. It's on the windscreen. Yeah, so let's turn it off the, the windscreen and the Harley. That looks pretty cool. One of the things I do like about this is his eyes. So I think I am going to make a selection around the eyes. I'm going to go back to that eagle. Click on that layer. Hit Command J. We'll call it eyes. I'm going to turn the multiply back to normal. 
we're getting that white again. However, what we'll do is we'll just use a mask layer. Take this brush. Let me get a normal brush here. And I'm just going to come in here and I just want his eyes to stand out because they look pretty cool. Let me back that up a couple. Uh, hold Option, Command Z. You can back it up as many times as you want. I'm going to make this a little bit more of a feathered brush. I don't want it quite as big. So I really like the the eyes, how they just kind of pop off of this. And you can still tell it's American Bald Eagle. And then we're going to take that flag and we're going to stick it behind this and kind of let it sit in the background a little bit. So that's looking pretty cool. Now let's take that kind of more uh, weathered looking just really old looking flag for lack of more creative just vocabulary I can't uh, I've got a term in my mind but concentration is on what's going on here in the background okay so that's the one let's take that and for whatever reason uh, I mean, it looks like we're still looking at this, but where does this do that? There we go. Oh God, Photoshop's acting up. This is why I have stuck with 2017 for quite some time. Some of these programs can be very buggy until they sort things out. All right. So let's call this, call it American flag. It is in the Eagles folder. Let's get it out of there. Put it behind the Eagles folder. Now I'm going to, let's see what it looks like when we hit multiply. Nah. What about overlay? Mm, no, nah, it's still making things too dark. Hard light. That's kind of cool. I don't know. Let me go back to the flag here. And sometimes when your images are behind the others, you may need to lock it. So I'm going to lock those real quick. So I can grab this flag up. And I think one of the things I'm going to do is I am going to kind of brush that into that original shape here. And if we go back to it, take a look. We've got this kind of cool looking eagle shape to its face. So let me see what we can do with that and still keep the lightning I'm going to make a mask and I'm going to take my brush here I might even hit option might even come back to this original image and go to select color range yeah why is the American flag showing up there okay Okay, let me click on the layer. Maybe that's why. Okay, select color range. There we go. Now we're talking. And we're just going to expand this. I'm going to add some of this, these other tones in here. See what that gets us. I'm going to hit OK. Option click, turn everything back on. I hit select, modify, feather. Okay, inverse that, 
actually let's back up now the American flag that's where we were at let's see let me inverse that hit option delete see what that gets us looks kind of cool you can still kind of see the American flag back there uh, however for whatever reason I see why okay so we're gonna put some more of this flag back behind the eagle D on the keyboard hit undo X make sure we got white and yeah we're still on black let's back that up make sure it's on the, the white layer I'm gonna pull this back to uh, 13 15 percent something like that that's a little much back that up let's make it let's try five percent trying to pull in okay instead of the flow let's pull back the opacity and see what we're getting now there we go now we're talking try and pull some more of this American flag back into the composition at X I don't like that red overlaying on top of the the lightning because now it's starting to make it look purple okay that is getting somewhere although I think I may play around with it just a little more try and bring some more of this American flag in here so that looks fine we do it over here a little bit see what we get so I'm really kind of wanting some of these dark shades here to kind of really do its thing want some of the cloud showing as well all right put some of these clouds showing here might even increase the background on this one because I think the background let me go ahead and save this before we get too far background wise I think I will increase the opacity here just a little more than it was on the other one and maybe even the the lightning background okay it looks like we're at a hundred percent there yeah okay I think that's looking a little more unique now as far as unique treatments go I think what we'll do is create a little bit different of a border so let me think about that for a second how I'm going to handle that because I do feel like instead of this being a fade we could do something a little more interesting I think it works well for the other design but trying to make this one its own design I mean it's concept wise it's similar but it's different so let me think about that for one second I'll be right back okay now that I have had a moment to think I'm stepping back looking at this this motorcycle looks way too bright looks like it's out in the sun our image obviously looks like it's on a road and it's about to storm so I'm gonna to go to filter let's make sure we're on the motorcycle layer first 
Let's go over to a red Harley. I think I may even duplicate that real quick. Hit the wrong thing. Let me go over to this new tab. We'll duplicate that real quick. Turn the other off. I'm going to go to filter. Render. And we're going to hit lighting effect. And we're going to change the lighting of this thing up quite a bit. And this is one of those effects that really just you just kind of have to play around with. So I'm going to mess around with this for a little bit and see what we get. And I'm going to drag this dude around a little bit. See what we get when we play around with some of these. Different. Essentially just the. Um, I want it too bright. Although I don't want it to be. Too dark. And I think one of the things is I kind of want to emphasize the tank and the headlight here. Just trying to pull it back in the composition some so it's not so so that way it doesn't stick out so much. And one of the things I like to do is go to my extremes and kind of work backwards from there. I think I kind of like the gloss turned up. Yeah, metallic turned up. Ambiance. It's too much. Okay. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to hit OK. I like that. That looks better. Going to save that. One of the things I do notice is our windscreen looks like we could pull that back a little bit. Okay. Liking how that looks. Let me see how it looked before. Just trying to get some of the background to show through that. Make it look like it's actually sitting on top of that. And then, let me save that real quick. Man, it is pouring down outside. Hopefully we don't lose power. That wouldn't be good. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to, I'm just going to find something. Let's say grunge border. And this is something along the lines of what I'm looking for. It's just a matter of finding something that I like. That looks kind of cool. Huh. It's either that one or... Nah. No. I forgot which one I was just on. <laughs> uh, nope, not that one. Eh.
No, it's not that one. Hmm. Forgot which one I just had open. Although, who knows? So, I'm going to take a look at some of these quickly. And I'm just going to make a decision here in a minute. Okay. I mean, that doesn't look too bad. Let's take this. Drop it in there. We're going to size it up. Size of our artboard. And we're going to use part of this to kind of get a little bit of this kind of a textured border going on. Uh, let's go to filter, sharpen, unsharp mask. Kind of harden some of these edges a little bit. Or I could even go to levels. Do one of these things. Okay. So now there's, we'll call this border real quick. There's a, a few ways you could do this. I mean, you could essentially make this a mask and then go to the background. Let's see. Um, let's go to select color range. I'm going to select this black. I'm going to pull this down to about 100. Turn that off real quick. And let's go to our background real quick. Let me get this out of the Harley folder, folder real quick. Collapse the Harley. Collapse the, collapse the Eagles. Excuse me background okay looks like we do not have a folder for those okay I'm gonna go select save selection call it border hit OK just hit return command D deselect this is our background for the most part, along with the eagle, the American flag. Okay, so I'm going to take the American flag. Yeah, yeah, we do have a... Okay, so in this case, I think I'm just going to take this border. <laughs> So I'm going to take this, um, I'm going to go to this channel, select here, uh, let's mask that off, see what we get, let's hit multiply, okay, so now we got a little bit of a border effect going, I'm going to come back to, let's see, let's come back to this road. That looks kind of cool. I don't, I don't know. Now that I see it, I think I kind of like the feathered thing. Maybe I can just pull this back a little bit. Have a little bit of both. Okay. Yeah, I think I like it pulled back a little bit. Gives a little bit of a texture. Okay, so I'm gonna save that real quick, and then. One of the things I did notice 
about okay. this eagle is, I think part of it is the nose, the beak really needs to be okay. there. So let me figure out some sort of way to... Wow. That thunder is crazy right now. Okay, I'm going to um, figure a way to make this beak a little more substantial. I'm going to clone this off. Actually, let's hit option I. Okay, there it is. Option and click on the eyes. I was trying to say. I think I'm just. I just really want the the nostrils and his beak to kind of stand out more. So let me clone that really quick. Let me turn the lock off of this. And let me take a look what we got going on here. Okay, so let's turn this to normal. And perhaps maybe color burn. Let's try hard light. Let's go back to normal, see what the difference is. Okay, so I think I may go to select color range with it normal. I'm going to grab some of these grays from this beak. I'm going to hit J. Now, let me pull this back a little bit. So now we're starting to get a little bit more of the beak in there. I'm going to clean all this up. However, let's see what we can do with some of these uh, layer. Just um, off the top of my head, I can't think of what it's called at the moment, but it is the... Um, the transparency, the layer effects, the blending, the blending mode for the layer. There we go. Let's head sit it, let it sit on top of that for a minute. Let's see. I'm going to call this a graze. Um, pull a little note in there, eagle. And I feel like we lost a little something. May have changed something. Oh, let's go back. Color dodge. Okay. Run normal. And that might be it. It might just need to just be the normal. Well, let me turn that all the way up. Difference. No. Exclusive. the no. Subtract. Nope. Divide. Huh. Still not quite there. Compared to that, dark no, color burn no, linear. Hmm. Lighten. I don't know. When I pull some of those back. Normal and lighten. Kind of looks like we're getting a little bit of the same effects going on here. Just kind of want it to be more obvious that there's some nostrils, a beak. Okay, let's try something here. Let me just change the color of it. 
more of a blue. I do think I like the saturation pulled back somewhat. Let's see, lightness wise. Let's try that. And then we'll mess around with this a little bit. Okay, I feel like. Let's undo that real quick. Command U, let's go back. Maybe do colorize, saturation. Okay, I don't know, I, I think that uh, perhaps right there, we're starting to see more of the beak, you can see the nostrils. Uh, I'm just going to take care of some of this around the eyes, so I think I'm going to do a mask. And I'm gonna feather some of this, ha, <laughs> feather it. Just a little bit, so that way we have some of these really hard edges going on. Can I see the mouth of it going, happening here? Feather it out a little bit. Okay. I like that. That looks cool. I think I might bring out a little bit more of the American flag on this side. Let's go over here. X on the keyboard. Yep. Let me go back. Make sure we're at the correct spot. Okay. I don't think that's what I'm looking for. Back up for a second. Okay, so we want our mask layer black. Let's see. We need to make that white. There we go. Now we're talking. Let's pull that back a little bit. Personally, I didn't want to cover up those stars and stripes too, too much, but I only pull some of that back out. Maybe get rid of it, some of it here in the nose. Oh, we can bring a touch back. There we go. Not really too bad. Looks pretty cool. Now the goal is not to cover too much of it with too much of it up with the text. However, I think I may have to condense some of the stuff that text is going to go up here. I don't want to cover too much of that up. But we shall see once we bring the text in. So let's do that next. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to save this out as a TIFF real quick. Don't need the alpha channels or the layers. And we'll just save that quickly. And close this out and bring back my other design real quick. And... 
I might modify this thing a little bit. I think I might pull back that glow just a touch. Actually, you know what? Might get rid of it all together. Actually, I think that looks fine. Just about hardly there. I think on the windscreen may just get rid of it all together. Going to save that. And then I'm going to save this dude as a TIFF. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and set our text. Save that, close that out. Let's go over to Illustrator. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's make this 12 by 15. Well, let's see, what's the folder called? Let's go back and copy that. We'll just call it mock for now. Design one. Call this design two. And we'll bring in our command shift P for place. We'll bring in our designs, the, the backgrounds that we have created. Let's go ahead and place those. We'll keep them linked. And click on the artboard. Cut one. Command X. Go to the other. Command V. And I'm going to line these to the artboard. Center them up. Turn that one off. Do the same thing here. Going to go ahead and save what work I have just done. And let's see. American Patriots RC. Let's just go ahead and paste that in here. Client provided. That's where it's at. That's not it. That's not it. There we are. Double click on that. Paste it. Okay, let's turn the make sure this document is RGB. Probably should have done that from the get-go. Let's typeset American. And then Patriots RC. RC. Shouldn't that be MC? Hmm. Yeah, that should be MC. I don't know why it says RC. Because... Okay. Well, there we are. So the MC is RC. Not that familiar with motorcycle clubs to tell you what that means. We'll do another one called, I'm just holding command and option to copy that. Veterans Day Run 2018. Now, let's go back to our fonts. 
Let me change that. Sorry, just trying to rename this real quick. Okay. Let's see what we downloaded font wise. Yeah, I think we only downloaded one. So let's install that real quick. Just going to double click on that. Install font. While we're at it, we'll paste the other portion of this. How their jackets look. Now, what font did we just install? Carnival. So, let's use, perhaps we'll make both of these at Carnival. Wow, that's pretty close. That might even be the same font. Okay, so let's take this and stick this in here. I'm going to clone this off so we don't lose that. Command Shift Zero. Let's make it white for now. Actually, let's go ahead and do, let's do a gradient. Get our gradient going. I'm going to click and hold shift. Hit command H to hide the, uh, the outline of this thing. Now let's use red at the top. And then... We'll use blue down at the bottom here. Not a fan of that blue. Make that 150. Magenta, 100 cyan. Actually, let's put a little more magenta in there. Just a touch. And then we'll go over the gradient. Let's compress this just a little more. I want it to be too purple looking. Let's try and change this to uh, RGB real quick. A little bit more of that deeper royal blue going on there. And we'll compress this again. Don't want too much purple going on in there. The red I am not happy with. Want to be a little closer to the red there. Okay, let's try that. Let's go over to our, uh, let's see, graphic styles. Let's make that a graphic style real quick. Hit undo. Just A on the keyboard. Select that. I hit H, you can see where my selection is. Hmm. Still feel like that blue can maybe be a little deeper. Let me hit undo. Go back to this blue. How deep do we want to go with it? Okay. I like that. Now let's go. Hit Command H. Hide some of these outlines. And we're going to go to Effect Warp arc let's hit preview but we're going to go 
to arch and we're going to pull that down some so it's not too crazy and we may end up importing some of this into Photoshop as separate little layers okay first thing we're going to do let's go to object expand hit copy command C command B paste them back <laughs> there goes the phone again actually you know let me fix uh, let me back up a few steps before we convert this thing back up even more ah <gasps> Oh, f me. Okay, so one of the things you did miss because I didn't save things, I accidentally hit the short keyboard command for in order to revert this. And it went back to the last saved part that I was at, which was just these two background images. So here we are. We got the font with our gradient on it I had to go back and recreate that i'm going to go to object expand appearance now i'm going to take this hit command c command b i'm going to make it black reason being is if uh, i made it white you would and put an outline on it you'll start to see some of the stuff fill in so do not want that so let's do that again. Copy. Command B. Paste them back. I'm going to make this fill here none. Make it black. Command C. Command B. Copy. Paste them back. And try and give it a little bit of a similar text treatment as to what we got going on here. So now I'm going to put a white outline on that. And I'm going to make that round. And we are going to bump that up a little bit. Now I'm going to hit Command C. Command B. I'm going to make that outline black. I'm going to increase the point size on it. And then. Let's see, let's make this black a little thicker. Command C, Command B one more time. Make it white. And then we're going to increase that. And now we're starting to get similar effect to what's going on here. I think maybe it's a little too thick. Okay. So now I'm going to take all this group it going to size it down and in this case we're going to, have to bring it in the Photoshop and we will have to put it behind the Eagles wings I think I am I'm just gonna double click on this real quick actually let me ungroup it double click again man G want that front layer I'm not quite happy with this red here I think I want it a little bit darker. There we go. Maybe even compress that a little more. Let's go back to this red. Might actually put a touch of blue in there. Pull this back. Yeah, let's go back to where we were at. I don't like how that's looking. It's trying to not make it look so purple here but it's part of having a gradient with red and blue save that so I don't lose my work 
And I think one of the things, we might have to go back a step. Okay. Does look like there is a little bit of an extrude here. Not sure how we got that white back behind it. We shall figure that out. Okay. I'm going to cut this front layer here. So let's start this over again. That'll be easier. Command F, paste in front. And copy. Send it in the back. We're going to make that black here. Make that black. Actually, we need that white. Okay. So I do see what's going on. Let's make this stroke go to the outside or hmm let's back that up a step okay let's see here okay let's Take that stroke off. Put a touch of black on it. Copy. Send to the back. Make that stroke white. There we go. See how thin they got it over here. Fairly thin. And let's make it... 2.5. Copy. Command C, Command B once again. Make that black. Now let's increase the size of this stroke here. And let's bring that down just a little bit. Now hit Command C. B, paste them back. I'm going to hold shift down and then hit the down arrow key once. Now, I'm going to select all this minus the background. Copy. Command B. And I'm going to put a white outline on it. And we'll start putting stroke in there. So we start seeing the white come up from behind everything. I think one of the things we did miss, excuse me, my computer is starting to run a little slow here. Let's cancel that. Okay, let's delete that real quick. Let's go over here. We'll go over to our stroke. Let's round that off. I'll smooth things out a little bit. Let's do that again. Copy. Command B. Send to the back. I'm going to go to Object. Path. Outline Stroke. Then I'm going to go over here to my Pathfinder. And I'm going to unite that so that way I don't have so many objects going on. It's kind of slow my computer down a little bit. Now, let's just make this fill white. Make our stroke white. And we'll bump that up a touch. Looks like our black maybe could be thicker. Let me cut that real quick. Actually, you know what? I'll just go ahead and make that stroke white. Excuse me, black. We'll bump it up some. That that's one of the issues with um 
doing all these copy and paste behinds, getting to your stroke that's towards the back. One way of doing it is holding command down and clicking, or you can just right click, select next object below, keep doing that. Next object below, select next object below. Okay, now we have our black. Make that a little bit bigger. But I am seeing a little bit of an issue going on here. So let's back that up until we get to our white. Let's just delete that real quick. So let's just put these on a separate layer real quick. Going to cut this, paste it in front, turn that off, cut this, go to this layer, paste it in back. Okay, turn these dudes off. Cut that one as well. Go to the next layer. Turn that off. Now we can select these. I'll lock, um, let's lock this background. I'm gonna select these here. Turn these others on, lock them. Now let's make that a little big, just a little bigger. See what we get. Well, let's try nine. Now, copy those, send them to the back. Object path, outline stroke. Going to unite those. And then put my white stroke on the outside. And almost feel like the white stroke here could be a little thicker. Let's pump that up. Okay. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Okay. I am happy with that. Let's unlock this. We're just going to group these. Get rid of this layer here. Put this back on design one. Command cut F for paste in front. I'm going to save this real quick. And one of the things I might even do with this, I think I might even take a go to my gradient. A little bit of a darker blue down at the bottom, but I'll condense that a little more. See how that looks. Okay, it looks pretty cool. Next thing we need to do is we'll do a treatment with the Patriot RC. Let's see. Maybe Spoleto will work. Let's see what fonts we got here. Let's get rid of that S. What kind of fonts we got? Hey, look, the sun's coming up. Yeah. Okay, let's do type change case. Let's select the font first. 
Change case. Title case. Make that uppercase. And that's a pretty cool font. I kind of like that. Let's see. Let's go the Western script. Let's see what that gets us. See what kind of font we can find here. Okay. I don't know. This may or may not be a cool font. Let's go back to our 1001 fonts. See what we can find script wise. See if we can't find something cool. Something totally cool. Hopefully that's not one of the fonts I didn't like. But I think it was just the American thing. That other font's pretty cool. And uh, this looks pretty similar, so I'm going to go with that. Might choose something else. We'll keep our eyes open for something that might catch my eyeball. Need to wrap this up soon so that way we can get it to them for their meeting. And we're just about there. I mean, as soon as we find this next font. I think we're just about home free. Okay, I'm going to roll with that because we are getting down to the wire. So let's go back to our job folder. Toss this in the fonts real quick. Going to double click on that and install it. And our font is called Aisha. <laughs> okay, so let's, I think perhaps it's 2018 and we'll use the same font here. Carnival, let's see how that looks. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Uh, let's put Aisha. Where's the Aisha? I don't know. Type change case. Title case. It looks pretty cool. Pow! Look at that. We are getting closer to being finished, guys. I'm going to clone this off. Hit Command O. Turn to outlines. Command G. Ungroup. I'm going to take this and that, make it a separate group. Do you want to make that bigger? Go to our Pathfinder and join those. Same thing here, ungroup, join it. Uh, kind of had hope that it would fill some of that in. Apparently not. Let's look at our old design. Let me see if we can do something a little. That might be fine. Uh, okay, so let's take this. And we'll grab this here. Hopefully we can still, let's see, arc. We want to apply the, the same thing. So to speak, I'm going to go object, span appearance. 
the red with the white outline and the black. Mm, perhaps that don't work. Let's see what they got going on here. Okay. I got an idea. I got an idea so this doesn't quite look with this blend. I'm going to change that up a little bit now that I'm looking at it. Kind of cut the camera there for a minute and kind of look back on everything. See what we have going on. Space it out just a touch. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to make some sort of mountain range looking kind of deal. Instead of it being this purple break, I'm going to quickly draw in some sort of mountain range. So this might look a little silly, however, it may look just fine. Actually, that looks a little goofy. Peak may be too much. So I'm going to take this and that. I'm going to divide it. I'm going to double click on this. Get into our grouping. Looks like we got rid of most stuff. Let's get rid of that. This here as well. And we're going to take these separate parts here. Let's unite those. I'm going to take these. Unite these as well. Cut both of these. Select uh, Command A, select all. Command F, we're going to paste that in front. Now, what we're going to do is I think we'll do something a little more unique. Let's see, let's flip that around. See what we got going on here. I'm trying to think. Um, let's see. We'll flip these the other way. Back to the way it was originally. Condense this down some. Okay. Next thing, I'm going to take this blue, do something a little unique with it. And at the top of this, I do think I might toss in a little bit of red. Just a touch, bring this in a little more. There we go, so that's such a hard break. Look a little bit more like a mountain range, although I'm not completely happy with that. I don't know, I might go back to how it was. I might have to let that sit in for a moment. Um, let's see, we get rid of that. Generally this works pretty well with similar colors, but when you go to two different colors, it might look a little, a little silly.
bring this in some. All right, let's go over here. We'll select that. And we just might end up making this side a little darker. Pull that in. I don't like the fact that it's pink here. Let's add a little touch of red there. Hit hide. Bring that in a little more. There we go. Now we're cooking. Okay. I like that. All right, let's regroup that. Now let's get back to the Patriot RC. Bring that to the front. Command shift right bracket. Make that a red. Get it to a similar red as what's going on here. So let's pull that down some. All right, I like that. Okay, so copy, send to the back. White outline. Boost that up just a touch. And Copy, Command B, send to the back, make that black. Let's boost that to about 10. Eh, let's do 16. I do think I will round this one off. I'm going to cut this one. I'm going to round this stroke off as well. Command F. Paste that dude in front. Okay, that's looking pretty cool. We can do a few other things in Photoshop to kind of make this really stand out, be its own. And we might even need to reduce this down some. Actually, that looks a little bland to me. Let's take this, let's put a little bit of a gradient on the fill here. Let's go back to our swatches, get our default gradient. And let's make this 90. We'll flip it 180. Let's join these guys up let's come over here do a little bit of this and so I'm going to make this red let's flop that around I'm gonna make this a darker red here and I think that will give it a little more interest. Make it a little more exciting. Right, let's go back and let's see. Make that a deeper red there. Come back to this one. And then I'll make it even that much more of a deep red. And it's just little things like that that kind of really set things off an extent okay that looks a little more interesting to me last but not least the veterans day run so we'll make this one red excuse me white and let's see what we've been doing 
for this red here. Should probably just save a swatch. Uh, let's say we'll make a new swatch out of that. Well, RG GB red. That way, I got a good basis to start off of. Ha! Just meant to say the swatch, but we got ourselves a gradient, which copy command B. When we go to do the stroke, that might make it just a little more interesting. One of those little happy accident moments. And we'll do a rounded stroke there go to our gradient tool make sure um, i'm gonna hit undo redo all right grab our gradient tool and for hey you know see why our gradient tool didn't want to work because we're using this as a stroke Okay, so that looks pretty cool. I think I may, I'm gonna put some drop shadows on each one of these. Let me go back, double click on my scale tool, scale strokes and effects, V on the keyboard, size this bad boy down. And I don't want to run into the bike too much, so we might have to adjust the bike a little bit. We shall see. Now, there we are. There's our big 2018. Toss this bad boy up under here. I pull this up. Pull this dude into the composition as well. Pull this down. Let's uh, center line it to the artwork. So all this can go up a touch. Uh, I do like how they kind of have some of that stuff going around in the background. So we might have to modify ours a little bit. This is why one of the reasons when you get into designing something, you're gonna make some adjustments. Okay, so let's take this, A on the keyboard, select that, and make a new, uh, shit, sorry about that. Excuse my French. Command Shift G, ungroup it, select that. Command Shift G to regroup it. And let's try a different text treatment aside from what they had going on. Command B, paste them back. Black. Uh, we want some of that RGB black. Copy. Send to the back, Command B. Now let's make that white. Make this slightly different. Let's round that out a little bit. Command H to hide it. Okay, so I'm going to cut that, go to this here, round it off. Command F, paste it in front. Yeah, we're starting to run out of time. I'm not sure I abs I'm absolutely in love with how this 2018 looks. Let's see how it looks with this font. Yeah, I don't like that one. <laughs> Anyways, we'll see what they think. down to the wire so i'm going to go back to this white maybe pull it back a little bit or expand it more 
See where that gets us. Yeah, that's better. I like that. Okay. So let's save this and then we're going to bring it into Photoshop and then fix a few things up here. So that way it's not just black empty space. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this American. Let's bring up our first concept. And we're just going to hit Command-V and paste it in there. We're going to paste those pixels. <laughs> so we got a, a new company that moved in right next to a company. So it's two AC companies now. And he's pulling in... Um, Ken, his name's Ken, he's pulling in and he's probably like, oh man, there's an AC company right next to mine that is, we'll just call this American, but um, that would be like a screen company, screen printing company, graphic design company moving right next to us. I, I would just kind of be like, what the, I don't know, that would be a little a little strange if you ask me. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, now that that is in there. Okay, I see why. Okay, so, so let's paste it in there. Looks pretty cool. Let's take this little tidbit. Command-C. Command-V. Paste this pixels. Let's just hit enter on that and bring it above the eagle. Cacao. Pow. I don't know that I like it right on his head though. He just, so I might have to make him a little smaller. Let's go back and make our eagle smaller. I'm going to save this real quick. And you can see how this is starting to really come together. It's starting to look really cool. We'll call this Patriot RC. And let me see if I can't make our layer palette a little bit bigger. Need some more room here. Okay, so Harley, so that, that's in Harley's. Uh, turn that off. Okay, I guess it's not. It's an eagle layer, which is fine. Patriot RC. Harley's. Patriot RC. Let's see. That's, that's strange. Oh, okay. It's in eagles as well. Got it. So I'm going to bring this above eagles. Come over to my eagle. I'm going to make him a touch smaller. So that way his head isn't in the font there. In turn, it will show off some more of our background. Okay. Patriot RC. I move that up just a touch. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of a drop shadow. So it's these small things that kind of make the difference, really. Um, let me cancel that real quick. I mess with the global settings. Okay, so it's about 90. Let's increase that opacity and see what we get. Distance. You put a touch more distance. Spread, I think it's fine. Size, we'll 
pull the spread and the size back a little bit. Maybe increase the opacity just a touch and hit OK. Right click, copy layer style. Go over to American, right click, paste layer style. So now we got a little bit of a drop shadow, making it look like it's kind of popping off there a little bit. But I may increase the spread size of this. The spread and the size, maybe even the opacity a little bit. There we go. That looks pretty cool. Let's save that out real quick. Last but not least, let's bring in, and I may have to make the motorcycle smaller. However, let's bring in our elements first, shall we? I think I might just bring this in as a group. Paste that in there. I'm not even sure. I'm just going to hit return. Let's call this Veterans 2018. Don't want to make it too long. Uh, and we're just going to bring this up to the very top of everything outside of that folder. I'm going to transform it. Scale that down just a touch. And hit enter. Right click, paste layer style. That looks cool. Now the Harley. Let's grab its windscreen. Let's link those two together. Let's transform it a little bit. And we make this bike a little smaller in the composition. Bring it up. Maybe even shift it to the left just a touch. Okay. Let's back that up and see where we're at to begin with. What do y'all think? Hmm. I think I might have made it just a little too small. Let me just try that again. Scale it. And move it up. Part of me doesn't like, you know, it'll be fine with it overlapping there. That's in what it looked like the uh, tire sit on top of the arm. And one of the things I could have done, which I'm going to go back and do that now. I'm going to take this white and I am going to put a gradient on it. And I'm just going to use a little bit of a light gray. I think that will make it just a touch more interesting. Now see small little things, guys. These small little things. Okay, and we'll pull this back just a touch. Okay, I like that. So let's bring that back into the composition. Once again, I'm going to save that. Paste it in there. See if I like that better. I'm going to hit return on that. Bring it up here. Copy that. Paste that in there. We'll make that two. Right click, copy layer style, go up to our new layer, paste layer style. And I think I'll just toss that dude away. Now we're centered. And I will size this down. I think that might be a little too small. Make it a touch bigger. 
and then we'll move it down some. You have to excuse me about my mouse. There we go. I don't think that's closer to where it was to begin with. I move it up in the composition some more. Still tell it's a motorcycle. Might put a little bit harder of a drop shadow on this one. There we go. Okay, we are about 95% complete. I'm going to, as I'm pointing at my screen, which you cannot see, we're going to bring in some more of this other stuff here and uh, back down this way. So let's go back to our background. At this point, I think we can just, hmm, you know, as I open that up, we'll leave that there. I was just about to delete it. Let's collapse some of these folders here. Collapse the eagle. Okay, so we have our background. We got our road. And this is, um, let's see, with our background, okay, we did mask our background. Okay, so let's go to our background mask. See on the keyboard, and let me just pull some more of this stuff back in. It's starting to get hard for me to see the sun's coming in. Uh, sunshine's coming out. Sunshine's coming out. Fix this here. Bump this up. I can really see what I'm doing here. I back that up a little bit. Yeah. Hit X. I just want to make sure there's no hard edge here. Okay, I'm digging that. Now I'm going to go over to my lighting here. There's some lighting. Uh, lightning. Uh, let me hit option on that. Yeah, so let me go back to this. Actually, that needs to be white. Doesn't it now? Yeah, we'll start to bring some more of that back in. And then we'll just go back and mask it off. Let me resize this real quick. Bring this up. Hit enter. Let's hit command T on the keyboard. Uh, we got a little bit of white here. What's up with that? We'll figure that out. Let me back that up a few. Might have just been... All right. Yeah, I'm not sure what's up with that. But we're going to fix it. No, that's for sure. Okay. I think I might make American and Patriot just a touch smaller. So that way you can get a little bit of that lightning coming out. Let's see, how wide is this dude? Let's go to window info. Okay, I don't want any smaller than 10 inches. Okay, so there we have it. Got a little bit of lightning showing up. You all right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's looking great. I'm going to save that. And then 
Um, I'm going to get rid of whatever is white here and then just feather some of this out. Get rid of my info window there. Aha! So, there's lightning. I'm going to go over to this layer. Get my brush. And let's hit X on that. Let's get rid of that. Kind of feather it out just a touch. And pal, there we are. We're done with that one. Now, I'm going to get rid of this background. I'm going to save it as a TIFF. Excuse me, I actually hit that little prematurely. Let's see. We'll call it mock-up. We don't want the layers. Save that real quick. Save transparency. So all that should show up in there. If I just put it on a black t-shirt, it'll look just like that in my mock-up stage. Let me save that out real quick. Now, on to this bad boy. Okay, let's toss our text in this one. I think I'll reopen that other PSD. The original, or I would say the kind of mock-up composition number one. Let's pull this dude off. What we're going to do is go, we're going to grab all of our text from this one and let's just hold command down here, option, click and drag it into the next one. And let's see. Okay, obviously we're going to have to rearrange some things. Let's pull the veterans up to the top. Might have to make the motorcycle a little smaller. Maybe even the American and all that a little bit bigger. Uh, you know what? It might be fine just where it's at. So let me pull that up. I'm going to pull this to the top as well. And grab my Patriot. Copy here. Let's move this dude to the top. Above American. And pull it down just a touch. Pull American up. And that looks kind of cool. I think I might size it up a little bit more on this one. Even though you don't want to size it up. Uh, they Should they choose this one, I'll probably just... Go back and repaste this stuff in there, guys. Okay, I might. Yeah, I'm going to size this Harley down. So let's grab our red Harley and our windscreen. We're going to link those together. Command T. Size it down. Move it up some. Might make it just a touch bigger. And I'm not sure what. I turn these off. Where this motorcycle is exactly coming from. That's a little, a little weird. So we turn it all off. There's our original Harley. Huh. I'm kind of liking that in the composition. Um, I think I'll just go with the original red Harley here. Uh, just not quite understanding where this one is coming from. Okay. Now we're going to have to go through some of our layers here. Ah, it's on the eagle layer. Huh. Okay, so at some point I 
did something a little weird. I know what it was. Okay, so it was when I did the gray. I must have uh, added the, the Harley portion as a selection. And, and we might do something. I got a little bit of an idea. I might even go back to the, the other. But I'm going to mask this off real quick. Okay. All right, X. There we go. I just don't want that, you know, I don't want that Harley to look like it's in there. And let's turn the Harley back on. So is this dude? Not that one. There we go. Windscreen. If I click on it, okay. I think I may move it up in the composition a little bit. Maybe make the eagle's face just a touch smaller. Or I can just pull this thing down. And maybe make the eagle's face a little smaller. Collapse Harleys. Our eagle. Got his eyes. Got that. Got that as well. Let's just link all three of these and let's size it down a touch and see what we get. Yeah, that's not half bad. I kind of want the tip of his nose to be in there, but and I might make this flag stand out a little more here a little more there you can still tell it's an American flag however yeah, at this point I think I forgot where I put it okay turn your Harleys on and off ah we got a little bit of a hard edge here we're going to have to fix that let me save this real quick. We got some sort of weird thing going on with this border here. I can guarantee it's probably on, yeah, it's on the eagle. Okay, so it's on the grays. Take our brush and feather that on out. Got it. Now, the American flag. Here we go. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's see what happens when we turn this to normal. Mmm. I actually kind of like that better. That looks pretty cool. I think I'm going to go back and hit this with. Just a touch of a feather here on the edge. That way we don't get any kind of box effect going on, really. Hopefully I haven't been too quiet. I'm just kind of talking through this. And I do feel like there could be more contrast to this. So let's double that up. Hmm. There we go. Maybe we'll change the, uh, let's see, maybe a hard light. Ah, liking that. Vivid, no, uh, I like the hard light better. That looks pretty cool. I like that. I think they'll like that too. Okay, I'm going to save this, get rid of this black background. Uh, you can see that hard edge there. Hmm. Okay, and I know exactly where it's at. It's on the American... Okay, maybe it's not. Uh, it's on the eagle? Lightning. Road. Nope. 
where is this thing at? Okay, so we're going to have to figure out where this hard edge is at because we do not want that showing up in our composition. Uh, we got our border going on here. Where is this thing at? Okay. So let's turn the background off. It's probably in the eagle. Nope. Yeah, there we go. So it's this layer here. Let's put a little bit of a mask on it. Take our brush. And we're just going to smooth that edge out. turn our background back on we still got a hard edge here I think that's in the flag yeah both of those flags so let's feather that on out might have feathered it too much on that okay well, that looks pretty dope. Okay, gonna save it. Get rid of this background. Save it as a. Oh, it's still saving, so give me that little bit of an error. Just saved it again. Okay. Command Shift S. I'm gonna save it as a TIFF. No layers, no alpha channels. And what do we call that? We'll call this mock-up too. <laughs> Save transparency. Okay. All good. I'm going to turn this background back on. Save it. Now it is mock-up time. I mean, if you guys want to stick around, see me do a mock-up, I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Show you how I do that for a client. We're going to save this, close it out. I am going to go over to my t-shirt template. So in templates and let's see, date modified proof template. We're going to make these black, this outline gray, make it a little bit deeper of a gray. Colors, I do know that there's going to be, uh, let's lock, yeah, we won't lock it just yet. Okay, we'll just call this blue. And let's move this on over may have to resize this box a little bit make this a little wider there you go colors we're going to say base uh, red blue yellow, brown, we'll call it sienna brown. I right, was, let's call it brown, keep it short. And then gray, we'll make that a similar gray to what we would print down. And call this one white. Or we'll call it base. There we go. Let me go ahead and save this real quick. Make sure I don't lose my work. Pets for vets. Or is it vets for pets? Jeez. 
No, I knew why it sounded so weird this whole time. Vets for pets. Pets for vets. <laughs> It's like pets for veterinarians. Nope. Vets for pets. pets. Yeah. You know, sometimes I get I get things backwards. So um, when I do send this, I'm going to call this vets for pets. We'll call it proof. And now I am going to, let's see. So we, we have our front art, which is yeah, dogs for vets. That's why I got it backwards. However, whatever, that's what I think about it, whatever. Okay. So one color front here. And uh, we'll probably, these are probably going to be some big guys. So we would print this at four inches. So four by four inches wide by one and a quarter. And then we're going to bring in one of our pieces of art. We'll bring in our first design and plunk that dude right here. Man, that looks cool. I'm really happy with the, the way this has kind of come out. Uh, it looks like it's got a little bit of a haze thing going on. I think that's because we're in CMYK. Yeah. There we go. We'll make this a true black, true RGB black. There we go. Now we're talking. And if this is 12 inches wide, 12 by 15, obviously, that's how we set things up. 12 inches wide by 15 inches high. And all right, so now we're going to take this edit artboards command option shift, clone that over. Take this, and we're going to go to links, relink that, mock up two, and that looks pretty awesome, too. Okay, guys. We are finished. I'm just going to save this out. Okay, so we are finally all finished with this design. For those of you that did stick around and watch the entire session slash tutorial, I really appreciate it. If you're in the market for Adobe Photoshop or Illustrator, use our link down in the description. It will kick a little bit of a commission our way, so that way we can continue to make tutorials, videos such as these, if you're in the market for screen printing supplies or equipment, use our promo code Mikey Designs down in the description. So that way you'll get $5 off. That too will kick a little bit of a commission our way. So that way we can make these videos. Until next time, guys, we'll see you later.